Yeah. And I, I noticed, obviously, everyone was talking, John, about, about Kepa coming back into the team at the mm. weekend. So he got his one match, you know, a little slap yeah. on the wrist, if you like. Do you think Sarri handled that well? Would you come down on his side? Or do you think that he, he should have been stronger with Kepa? Um, I think the goalkeeper was more at fault than the manager. I mean, the manager did want to take him off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and and I think you have to remember with Chelsea, you know, the, because the, the the situation with Kappa after the match took up all the the publicity and everything that was that was going on, uh, and people were saying, "Are the players giving it to Sari?" And he took a lot of stick over the Kappa situation. But if you go back to the match itself, mm-hmm. Chelsea played really well. Yeah, they contained Manchester City for for. You know, for no, the full I game. thought they should have won the game. Yeah. To be quite honest, I thought they were the better team on the day. That was that was the important thing from my point of view. Okay, the Kappa thing was was most unusual in that when the 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 the, the thing went up for him to come, off, he should have come off. Yeah, but I think there was a misunderstanding in that he had cramp, and I think Kappa thought he was taking him off because he had cramp, right, rather than putting the goalkeeper on. And I think what should have happened during the week was that the, the Sari should have said to Kappa, regardless of how you played or not, if it comes to penalties, you're going to come off. And Caballero was going in. Yeah. Right. Okay. right. I think that should have happened yeah. rather than telling him on the day Right. Yeah. And now Kappa might have said, well, I don't agree with that. So, well, I know, I know you don't agree, but that's what I'm going to do. So there would have been no misunderstanding on the day that he had to come off. Right. Now, I think they made up afterwards. I think Kappa said he was sorry. Okay. Uh, there was a misunderstanding and he, he put him back in yesterday. Now, a lot of people might say, shouldn't have put him back in. He shouldn't ever play for the club again. Yeah. But that's his decision. Actually, he went, the goalkeeper played well against Fulham. Yeah. And they got another win and they played well. Again, I think the the big thing from was the, the talk about Sarri that has he lost the players? Will they play for them? Will he not play for them? And the the answer to that was they did play for them and they have played for them. Now the Kappa thing situation coloured all that because most of it was about that. And they said, has he lost the players because of that particular situation? In fact, he hasn't. I think it shouldn't have happened. I think it should have been made clear to Kappa, but he did punish him by leaving him out. Mm. But he put him back in because he believes he's the best goalkeeper. And I think he, overall, it's it's something that shouldn't have happened. But from Sari's case, I think he handled it reasonably well. Would you agree with that, Liam? Does he come out of this looking reasonably competent, Sari? Well, I would I would say there's there's things that are not right over at, at, at Chelsea, and uh, that was definitely evident what, what went on at Wembley. Uh, so um, um, I think he's probably for change at the end of the season. And I, I, I think um, Chelsea will be, probably Chelsea and Arsenal will miss out on that fourth fourth spot because uh, because Man United are coming on so strong. Uh, so I think if they don't make the top four, uh, they'll change the manager. Um, and probably if Man United don't make or a soft job, won't get the job. Uh, so important to get into the Champions League football, Hugh. Yeah, absolutely.